So what's going on, man? How is it that I'm alive? And why do I look how I did when they arrived in there? Who the fuck are you? And what race are you? I've never seen a race like you before. Right, okay. My name is Chi Chi. This here is my twin sister, Anna. We've actually got more sisters. Uh, we had lit we were a part of a litter of six, okay? Now, we are Anna Sapiens. We are anatomically human with Anunnaki uh, makeup. We are more Anunnaki than we are human. Okay. So you're a hybrid between us as well as the Nephilim, like myself. Yeah, so you've got the genes to allow you to use Anunnaki technology, you personally, because you're a Nephilim, and the Nanites won't work on humans. They'll only work on Anunnaki, Anasapiens, and Nephilim, okay? So are these the Nanites that made it possible for me to be come, to come back from the dead? Yes. Medical nanites. Usually it would take a few years for your age to come off you, okay? But I kind of overdid it because I'm not a doctor. So that's, I'm sorry, that's why it was so painful. And uh, you've been passed out again for about eight hours. Eight hours? Yeah, eight hours. You have to be very careful with, for the next part because you're dead. Everyone believes that you're dead. Everyone around the entire empire has seen you die, okay? But they saw the old man die. You're not old anymore. You look like you're in your 30s. I'm in my 30s. <laughs> yeah, I was in my 30s when they arrived. Well, actually, I was closer to 40, to be honest. Oh, I'm in my 70s at the moment. In fact, I'm 72. You're 72, wow. I wouldn't put you over the age of 32 to be honest. Well that's interesting. So if that would have been Henry, the nanites wouldn't have worked. No, they only work on, under the uh, Anunnaki gene, which you have because you're Nephilim. Right, okay. So do we know any news about Henry or Josh? Yeah, well Josh is on his way to uh, Nibiru. We can't get him. It's not possible, but we can rescue Henry. His ship arrives in another six hours time. And when they uh, take him off his ship, they're gonna transfer him to another ship called the Proteus, okay? What I think we can do is uh, rescue him. We can rescue him before, as he gets taken down to the Proteus. So uh, how do you know what ship he's on? Don't worry about that, I know what ship he's on. He's on the Vesuvius. The Vesuvius. And then after the super volcano from Earth. Oh no, the super volcano on Earth was named after uh, the spaceship. Well, this is like the uh, fifth Vesuvius. I see. Fucking Anunnaki and their past. Yeah, well, don't worry about that, okay? Bottom line is, the Vesuvius will be here soon. And uh, we've got a few jobs that we have to do. Yeah, like what? Like what? Well, we need to get you ready. And uh, trust me, you need to be able to relearn how to walk because uh, you're gonna walk like a pissed up man. And why'd you say that? Well, go on, stand up. Oh shit. Yeah, exactly. Your body's in a serious atrophy because you were dead. Okay, you've got to be able to walk and me and Anna can't do this on your on our own. We're going to need you because you're more experienced at killing uh, than what we are, okay? Really? Yeah, well, um, the only people that we've killed were the crew on this ship not so long ago. What do you mean by not so long ago? Well, the bodies are still pretty much warm, okay? Well, as warm as they can be for being cold-blooded. Right. Okay. So, what are we going to do about these bodies then? Well, I have a plan about that. But, yet again, that's all dependent on you helping out and you being able to walk. So, uh, I think you need to uh, start practicing walking. Okay. 
Oh shit. Jeez, that really hurts. I can give you some painkillers, okay? But you need to be up and ready and help me get rid of these bodies pronto. Because we can't take them with us because they got locator beacons in them. And when they get discovered, they're gonna be after this ship if they're still on board, okay? I've moved the transponder out of the ship, but these bodies, they will be located. What, do you not have locator beacon on you? No, no, it's just the Anunnaki and Nephilim. And since you're an unregistered Nephilim and we're Anasapiens, we're fine. But all Anunnaki and registered Nephilim, they've all got locator chips put in them so they know exactly where people are and how they get killed. So they keep getting all these accurate or inaccurate numbers for the case against you. Well, it doesn't matter now because that debt's been paid. Well, put this way, I probably killed more than what they keep saying. There's no doubt about that. I get that. I really do. But um, do you, how do you reckon you are on your feet at the moment? Do you reckon you can carry a couple of dead bodies onto a trolley? Yeah, I think I can. So, what's the plan? Um, I don't know yet. <laughs> Anna, any ideas? Um, I don't know. There's, there's a cleaner cupboard uh, at the far end of our dock. Yeah, that works. That really does work. What do you mean? Well, all we need to do is put these bodies in the cleaner's cupboard. And no one will know. No one will know until uh, someone comes in and finds them. But what about the locator beacons? Well, no one knows to look for them. They're not reported missing, not yet. We haven't had to check the ship in because the ship has been docked here for, o for over a month, okay? We've not been given a mission. We've not even had to go out of, uh, we've not even had to go out yet. We've not had to leave the space station whatsoever. So everyone's checked in. For all they know, Everything's working fine. The ship's registered as fine. We're good. Okay. Okay, so, uh, so all we have to do is get the bodies onto a trolley and wheel them out. And wheel them on down the ramp and into that cupboard. Yeah. And then when Henry arrives, we intercept. And hey, presto, we just kill a few people run back to the bounty what's the bounty this ship why is it called the bounty as in the HMS bounty oh I see I see why did the Anunnaki name this ship the HMS bounty well no I named her she was called the Rhapsody to start with I see I see and you've got full control of this ship yeah I'm its captain now and how did you acquire the ship? We'll see him there with all these screwdrivers hanging out of his body. Yeah, that was the captain and I tortured him until he gave me command of the ship. Good going, good going. Do you think Henry would like that? What do you mean by that? No, no, that's, no, it's okay, that's okay. I just, um, just seeing if Henry would have liked anything like that. Yeah, I'm sure he would have. He loves killing Anunnaki. Yeah. I think I like killing Anunnaki too. That guy there was my first. Well, he wasn't the first dead. That guy there was the first dead, but... You know, between me and Anna, we shut them all up. And I tortured that guy a bit more, and then... He was, a lot first, he was the first to be injured and the last to die. Yeah, I like it. I'm sure Henry would like that story if you told him. Is there something I should know? Uh, what do you mean? You got something for Henry? Well, even if I did, I don't think I should tell you. I just met you. Yeah, well, you seem like you got a thing for Henry, and um, it's interesting, really, because Henry's never expressed a, a liking about women at the moment. I, I did wonder about him. What do you mean? Well, 
to be honest though, he was more content with killing people. Really? So he's got no one on earth? No, he's got no one on earth. All he's ever done since I found him was kill Anunnaki and Nephilim. Okay. Right, let's go and do this. Yeah, let's do it. Jesus Christ, these guys are heavy. Well, what, you never picked up a Anunnaki before? No, I just fucking killed him. I'm not fucking had to move him onto a trolley. Jesus, how many trips do you reckon? Um, two trips if we get another trolley? Yeah, okay, no worries, no worries. Right, Anna, can you go to, back to the bridge and just wait there and just get ready to open and close the doors? Yeah, no worries, no worries. Cool, cool. Right, there we go. It's the first uh, set. Coast is clear. Anna, can you see anything on the sensors? No, nothing on the sensors. Good, good, let's do this. Let's do this. There we go. Nice little cupboard. No one here. Let's quickly dash them in. Right, let's get the next load. Oh, fucking hell. How does the Anunnaki just smell all the fucking time? Well, in this particular crew, they were disgusting. I have to say they were real fucking disgusting. Yeah? Well, you should see the state of the toilets after they use them. We had to clean that up all the bloody time. Right. So what were the purpose of you guys being on an Anunnaki ship? We, what, were you hired to do all the shit jobs? Hired? <laughs> Slaves. We were made to do all the shit jobs. I see. I see. I can see why you wanted to kill these guys. Well, there are other reasons why I wanted to kill these guys, but that's a different story. Yeah. No shit. Right. Let's get this last batch out. Chi-Chi. Anna, yeah, what's up? How many ships arrived? Really? That's early? Yeah, I guess they uh, overestimated the time. Oh, shit. Right, let's get this done. Let's get this done. Right. Let's go. Come on, old man, let's go. Oh, fucking hell, here we go. Here we go. What are you doing guys? Who, who the fuck are you? No, who the fuck are you? Thank you for listening to The Bounty, a 30 years since story. If you enjoy any of our content, why not check out our other story based podcasts? They are A Tribute to Men That Hate Their Jobs and Gumshoe. All the links for those are in the description below. We also have our Total Entertainment Podcast, where I talk about the process of setting up a live show and a review of that show, as well as having the odd interview of a grassroots entertainer, musician or singer. The link for that is also in the description below. Until next time guys, bye for now.